Thank you and welcome to this update on the Aberdeen Asian Income Fund, a portfolio of about 60 stocks targeting the income and growth potential of Asia's most compelling and sustainable companies. We focus on finding high quality dividend paying companies that offer both capital appreciation over the long run alongside growing dividends. With access to over 40 analysts and fund managers here on the ground in Asia, our bottom-up stock picking process delivered performance ahead of benchmark, a 4.5% dividend yield, and a AA ESG score from MSCI. With plenty of headwinds facing investors in Asian markets, we're looking for quality companies which can continue to deliver earnings growth and dividends growth despite the rising rates and rising inflation in order to pay a growing dividend stream to our investors. The board has set a dividend target of at least 9.75 pence per share for this year and for 2023, which would build upon our track record of consecutive dividend growth for over a decade. The fund has just under half a full year dividends in revenue reserves, which provides a good buffer uh, for any more future uncertainties. And we've reduced gearing back below 10%, given a tougher global outlook, and to give us some headroom to increase gearing in the future when markets recover. The income fund has just over half of net asset value invested in Singapore, Australia and Taiwan, which are three of the highest yielding countries in the region. From a sector perspective, our highest weighting is in financials. And we've been increasing our weighting to the local banks across the region over the course of the past year as a leverage play on reopening economies and to pick up the dividend growth as domestic regulators ease payout restrictions following the pandemic. This is followed by the cash-rich global leaders in the information technology space and then followed by the high-yielding real estate companies. Generally speaking, we find that Asia offers a broad base of dividend opportunities and we're able to find companies that offer good yield from a variety of underlying growth themes, such as infrastructure spend in Asia, wealthier middle class consumers and rising green energy adoption. So our focus on quality and dividends has resulted in a defensive portfolio During what has been a difficult time for Asian equity markets, the Asian benchmark is down over the past three months, as well as over the past one year, and the income fund has proven resilient, falling less than the benchmark during both time periods, whilst also paying a higher dividend yield. Longer term, absolute performance is strong over three, five and ten years. Performance drivers over the quarter include our relatively low positioning in China, as well as good stock selection in Singapore. During this time, we further pared back our technology exposure, given the weak global demand environment, as we suspect there will come a time to buy back these quality companies at a lower price. We've also been adding to dividend payers to support income collection going into the year end. For example, we've initiated Casa Corn Bank in Thailand, as we expect they will benefit from reopening, from investments into digital infrastructure, as well as from resuming their previous dividend growth trajectory. We continue to look for interesting companies that can pay sustainable dividends across the region. In India, which is not known for being a yield market, we've invested in Power Grid of India, the domestic electricity infrastructure and transmission network that's working on promoting better access to renewable energy sources, as well as improving reliability of energy availability. Their regulated asset base also supports a healthy yield. Elsewhere, our holding in Spark, a telecom operator in New Zealand, has proven defensive this year thanks to their active portfolio management strategy that supports their solid, growing dividend profile. So looking ahead, we believe sentiment will remain cautious given the uncertainties around inflation and recessionary risks. One of the ways we try to combat macro factors is by knowing our companies and investing in quality 
which we believe will help keep the fund resilient. The income fund has higher profitability on a look-through basis versus the benchmark, better return on equity, and a higher dividend yield as well. Dividends are an increasingly important component of total returns in Asia, and we believe the Asia region looks well-placed versus global peers. Asian markets are trading at lower price-to-earnings multiples relative to history, as as well as relative to world indices. And a higher percentage of Asian corporates are expected to increase dividends relative to global peers, thanks to stronger corporate balance sheets and better growth forecasts. 